It's coming. Okay. 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 There we go. Good boy. Ugh. Hi, everyone. Good morning. So we made it through the night there. Um, I muscled up and picked Lefty up and carried him upstairs and put him in the, the big lounge chair next to me, next to my bed. And he was out. I mean, he was zonked. Uh, when I brought him in the house and laid him on the couch, the position I laid him in is how he stayed. He didn't move. And same thing when I carried him upstairs. It was about 9.30, I carried him upstairs and laid him out in the chair. And the, the position I put him in is just how he stayed. He was out. I've, I mean, I was actually watching to make sure he's still breathing because he was just totally zonkered. Um, so I got him in what looked like a comfortable position and uh, watched him for an hour or so. And then I drifted off to sleep and uh, about 1.30 a.m., he woke me up. Uh, he was doing a little bit of whimpering. And that, you know, I popped awake. And he was sitting there looking at me. And his eyes were open. And, you know, he looked way more in tune to the world at that point. So I think that's when the stuff was finally flushing out of him. But, um, and then I, I, so I got him up. I carried him. So I've been carrying him up and down the stairs. Uh, at weigh-in at the vet yesterday, he was 65.8 pounds. So that's his normal weight is right about 65 pounds um, Give or take one or two up or down depending on what's going on so it's you know and A bunch of people ask, you know, how am I doing with my rib injury? I totally just threw that out the back of my head when this happened to him When I picked him up and carrying him up and down the stairs, I can feel but I, you know, what am I gonna do? I really don't care about how my ribs feel. I gotta make sure that he's okay. So carried him out at 1.30 in the morning, went outside, let him pee. He just kind of standing there, staring off into space. Got him back in, carried him back upstairs, put him in the bed with me uh, this time. And we slept, you know, on through till the sun came up this morning till 6.30 or so. Oh, there's my puppy. How are you? Are you, um, Rudolph, the red-footed doggy? You had some water? Had your water? You had a couple of snacks? You want to go out, go pee-pee? Huh? Do you want to go out, go pee-pee? You want to follow me? Come on. Come on, buddy. Da da. The crown. These are the little. Um, it's like a bag. You put put the paw in, and then put the cleansing soak. It's a good idea. Uh, they also gave me. Sorry for the jittery camera work. Yeah, here's another bag here, and this is the. The cleaning solution there. So you dilute that with some water, I guess. There's instructions in there. And then a couple of got some pain meds and antibiotics. Okay. So he's still pretty uh still pretty I don't know, inactive, I guess is the word. What you doing? Hold on, let me get your water. There you go. There you go. supposed to limit your water for some reason. Sorry. That's 
two big gulps you've had. What's up? Do you got PP? We were just out and you snubbed me. I think you just want to go outside and play. And you're you're kind of uh, you're kind of toying with me, aren't you? You're having a little fun with me this morning because you know I'm in a vulnerable position. And so now you're gonna mess with me. You're gonna act like, oh, Dad, I'm sick. You gotta do everything I ask. Look at my paw. Look at the red thing on my foot. So you gotta do everything I ask. That means extra snacks, treats going outside as much as I want, because I'm, I'm not feeling good, right? Is that what you're doing to me? See? Guilty! I can tell. I can tell. What do you want? Do you want to go pee pee? Huh? Do you want to go outside? Huh? You got to talk. Hmm? You wanna go outside? You gonna talk? Oh. You just want that big red thing, that lollipop off of your foot, don't you? <laughs> that was loud. Now you're gonna put your collar on. Okay. Come on. He just wants to go for a walk. Oh you such a What am I seeing here? What is this? Are you going at it? Huh? Are you trying to get rid of that lollipop? Well, what we've got to do is we've got to take that off this morning. Okay? Let's see. Come on. You take this off? Okay. 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 Boy, this stuff is sticky. Oh. Okay, okay. That's a good boy. Okay, okay. We get it off, okay? Okay, there it is. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Good. It's another piece, look at that. Well, we're getting it. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> I see you already started on it. Hmm. Did you just burp on my hand? Hmm. Ah. Need some more on? Uh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. You wanna help? You can get it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Get in there. You smell something in there? She said it was going to ooze during the night. Okay. Time to, I've got to unwrap it. They don't want it to remain wrapped. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's helping. All he wants to do is eat the bandage. Yeah. Well, he started. I found some pieces over here, so I figured it was time. Hold on. Oh, it's okay. Yep. Let me get it. Nope. Come on. Hey. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Let me finish, but it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Yeah. Hey. I guess I'm going to have to put this on here and see. Okay. I think your expression says it all, Lefty. <laughs> He's like, WTF is this? Oh, that's a good boy. Mom's pointing at this abrasion that I have across my forehead, self-inflicted in the bathroom. I'm just falling apart here in New York. A couple of people have commented and said, we gotta get back on the road where it's safe. <laughs> Cause we're falling apart, brother.
we've had a little experience with the, I'm calling it the cone of power. <laughs> Poor, he hates that thing. He hates it. So when we went for our little walk this morning, a little while ago, I put the sock on him, electrical tape, that's my work, so that uh, no dirt gets on the paw. So I took off the cone because, I mean, that's very loosely uh, around his foot there. It's not tight at all. Uh, the doctor doesn't want it to be bandaged up. It needs to breathe. And he got an antibiotic pill this morning. I'll start his pain pill this afternoon once all the stuff that's in him wears off. And I've got to do a soak uh, on his paw. So, you know, we're looking at 10 to 14 days to get him back in action. And I feel bad for him just because, you know, this is summertime, he's an action dog, and he's definitely kind of down for the count right now. And it's, you know, and he's still kind of halfway loopy still. So tomorrow or the next day, it's gonna get more of a handful as he gets his wits back about him and wants to go play. So I'm gonna deal with that as it happens. Um, so it was, you know, a little stressful yesterday. You guys were great. I've kept posting those updates yesterday because all of the comments and feedback was really helping me to kind of keep my uh, kind of an inherent tendency to get a little bit wound up and overthinking stuff. And so posting those videos and hearing back from all of you guys really helped me to stuff that down and it never really never really rose up and, and overtook me. I was able to just, you know, reading your stories and everybody telling me how, you know, it's a minor thing, nothing's gonna happen and really helped me to feel better. So thank you all for um, commenting on the videos yesterday. They weren't my best work, but I was really, <laughs> a lot of activity going on yesterday. So I was just, just wanted to get information out there as quick as I can. That's kind of what you're gonna see today. I kind of a slash together one here a little bit of cone of power and uh little doodads of videos so today i'm just puttering around out in the garage i'll show you what i worked on yesterday i started this is the for the sink obviously and i always say how i am just a terrible wood person so I got this all cut, did this with the jigsaw. Very difficult to make, you know, perfect curves. And, uh, you know, I was cutting, uh, I had a guideline, but I couldn't follow that line perfectly. So I've been out here kind of sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding, trying to get it to be perfect. And I made a mistake. My pilot hole that I drilled was too close. So I've ended up with, I don't know if you can see it right there and so that's the last thing I'm sanding seeing if I can get that to disappear but I said to myself you know what it probably perfect just like it is because this sink this is an experiment and this may not end up being permanent you know next year it's it's kind of likely or very possible that I'm just going to rip it all out and do something different so I'm going to get this it's very close to the finished piece wipe it down get some stain on it get the sink mounted up to it i've never mounted a sink before this is a uh, mounts from the bottom I'm trying not to make a huge production out of this and then once i get once i get the sink mounted to this then i've got to figure out what i'm actually going to build underneath it so i'm just going to putter around out here today um, just to keep him company and let him know that i'm next to him and keep talking to myself and talking to him so he feels secure and we're just going to be taking it easy today somebody commented you know today's a good day to regroup and rest and eat a bunch of food and zone out in front of Netflix and I couldn't agree more <laughs> so we're we're just going to be hanging out he's getting better and better every hour uh, giving me kisses wagging his tail all that good stuff um, he let me put the sock on his paw without growling at me again like yesterday he was growling at me he was just so out of it anytime I would try to touch the paw uh, he'd growl at me which he's never you know he doesn't do that to me and like he kind of did to the doc growling at them and so I had to kind of snap him out of it like hey this is me you know wake up don't growl at me I don't like that um, like, 
you know, bless him. He's just been through some really rough days. So, uh, I'm glad I'm here for him. I'm glad all of you are here for him. The, the vet bill turned out to be, I think my all in was like 650 bucks, whatever, you know, I, I carry, uh, credit cards, you know, and to me, this is what my credit cards are for. So just like if anything ever happened to the truck, a mechanical breakdown where I got to have, you know, instant money, I've always got that with the credit card, uh, you know, figure it all out later. But that lets me feel like I'm never going to be totally stranded somewhere because of finances, because I do have the cards that can get me out of all that stuff. So not not as bad as it could have been like the original um prices they showed me ranged up to like 1200 bucks but then like i said they gave me the friends and family discount because there are actual um we're we're a customer there uh, that's his vet so they gave me a different pricing so the revised one was considerably lower than the original prices that they showed me uh so that's all behind us now I have received a couple of PayPal. Cynthia and Cheryl, thank you for that. I had, had no intention of anybody sending support for the vet bill. You know, that's on me. This is part of this is part of life and, and being a dog owner and things like this happen. And you know, I'm okay as far as that goes. I can cover the, the bill, but thank you, you two, for sending that in. Mom even donated. I was in there talking to her about um, how it was I had gotten uh, some PayPal and how great it was and when we came back um, from picking Lefty up when I came back she had a hundred dollar bill there and she said here this is from us for for helping out Lefty and I said oh my goodness that's so great I'm like where did you get a hundred dollar bill and I tell you the thing looked brand new I could smell it from two feet away and she said we just printed it so <laughs> I hope she's got more so thank you for that you two Again, thank you everybody for being with us yesterday when I posted those updates. I do really appreciate that and sharing your stories and all the best wishes for Lefty. Continue to send those so that we can get healed up quick and get our butts on the road because obviously being in the New York area is not healthy for the two of us. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon.